underway this afternoon and it's the first race of the afternoon. Richard Smith it is that goes into the first race. Richard Smith is Gary Wells. Then Matt Thompson, Brian Boyd and Mark Power and she'll run her well down the field there. We have a mishap on the first turn. Right through the blind spot of the caravan, good to see that. Two riders down, one looks like Paul Sivan. Good to see the ring that is, Paul Sivan's down on the floor there, everyone could be Chris Park. Good to see the ring that is, Paul Sivan's down on the floor there, everyone could be Chris Park. Good to see the ring that is, Paul Sivan's down on Goes up into that first turn first with Wogie Giles in second place again, as it was on that first turn. Wogie Giles will take it. Wogie Giles with a very slow advantage at the moment. Richard Smith gone to the inside line on him and takes that advantage away, but Wogie cracks the front line. He's going around the outside. These two are shoulder to shoulder. It's good stuff here at Britain. Oh, I'm not sure of this distance. Who is in front? Wogie sees the hand
Be Ray gets a little bit sideways around the pit turn, but he's all right, okay. He's flat out, he's coming up the next straight. Be Ray and Chris Wall. Look at these three there. You can do three in the back of a van as they came round there, but uh, they see him making the advantage up into second place. Top two from each heat should really make the final, so if you can finish first and second all day, you should be all right. But look at the battle going up to third. Dave Steer, a nice dip round that corner, so Lee Ray on the last map from Dave Steer, then Luke Patchell, Julian Brown, who was going from the Jamie Jones, and Thompson Hughes. Come into the last turn for the last time. A little bit of an overslide again there from Lee Ray, but it's Lee Ray all the way to the finish. Lee Ray and Chris Wall win. Dave Steer and Andy Orton in a good second place. Then Jones Rogers and Damien Jones. Luke Patrick, Julian Browning. Paul Roberts and Nicky Owen. Win four. Number six, Lee Ray and Chris Wall. In second place is number 17, Dave Steer and Andy Orchard. In third place, number four. James Rogers and Damien James. In fourth place, 808, Luke Patchell and Julian Browning. In fifth place, number 20, Paul Roberts and Nicky Owen. The winner's time was 1 minute 43.97 seconds, giving an average speed of 45.98 miles per hour. I 
just trying to go dry colour to blackboard ready Albert's on the inside and the straight just trying to go around that box there. All closed stuff there and that's fine because the two moved it up well. But the Stuart Yeoman's got the advantage into the sector. Colin Blackmore lining him back up again and uh, trying the long way round the outside. The bass map flag is out this time. It's the end of Stuart Yeoman's on course all the way in this one from Colin Blackmore and Eddie Albers in second place.
Gordon again with the advantage up that straight. Into the first turn first. 
Jackson at number 42. Daisy Jones. The boy Harrison. But it looks like Neil Owen has got back in front as they go up that top turn. Jason Cup, uh, Jason Brell. 
Martin Carpenter, Jason Rell, bringing up the rear there. Not quite on the pace this afternoon. From Irwin Balman, that's Carl Brandon. Martin Cup and Jason Ralph looking down at the back wheel. Martin saying to Jake, Jason, is everything all right there? So, obviously, problems for them. They'll cruise round and pick up good points in this one for that third place. Big Morphy, Robert 
Wiltshire. Race 12, a win. A good win for number 9, Mish Gotten. In second place was number 3, Chris Tritton. Third was 174, Robin Pilcher. Fourth was number 5, Dave Hollingsby. Fifth, 56, Mick Morphy. Sixth, 49, John Pilcher. Seventh, 110, Chris Sweet. Eighth, 145, James Cramp. No other finishes. The winner's time is 1 minute 22.19 seconds, giving a speed of 51.33. Mark Powell, Matt Thompson, Nick Hamlet, Brian Cornelius and Stevie Sirett, they're away and up the first straight, they're into the first third, Lee Street seems to have got there first, but he's been overhauled on the first corner. Third place, Lewis Ackerman. Fourth place, 
Adrian School, third, Gary Wells. Uniform win there for 33, Richard Smith. Second place, 300, Jerry Giles. Third, 27, Lewis Ackerman. Fourth, number 70, Gary Wells. Fifth, number 46, Colin Osborne. Sixth, number 170, Christian Potter. Seventh, 181, John Gibbons. Eighth, 32, Adrian Squirrel. No other finishes, the winner's time, 1 minute 25.26 seconds, giving an average speed of 49.48. Hill actually, but uh, time will tell. Here they come round the turn now, it's 17, 
Rose Deer and Andy Orchard leading the field from 6, D Ray and Chris Wall. Then 26, Nick Cole and Mark Ubico. Mm -hmm. Then number 11, Tony Gilbert and Malcolm Ivey.
Second place, 75 B Street. Third, 44, Sean Corley. Fourth, 172, Walter Neem. Fifth, number 20, Alan Dan. Now other finishes, the winner's time, 59.14 seconds, giving an average speed of 52.30 miles per hour. <laughs>
Well. A good win for number 32, Adrian Squirrel showing his back on form. After his spell, in second place is number 70, Gary Wells, trying hard there all the way. In third place is 59, Chris Bay, fourth, 34, Matt Thompson. Fifth was number 48, Brian Cornelius, sixth was number 74, Mark Powell. Seventh was number 37, Michael Peters. Eighth, number 20, Alan Dan, 945, James Peters. And tenth, 105, Nick Ablett. 105 is Nick Adams. Nick Adams, both in, eh? Nick Adams. No doubt the finish of the winner's time will be 02.25 seconds, giving up a speed of 49.69 miles per hour. Mm -hmm. Blackwall's got the best of the start this time. He and Stuart the O's have gone there right there with him. They've gone into that first corner side by side. Let's see what happens here. Here's Stuart the O's are pushing hard in second place. Colin Blackwall, Reddy Alvis then. Leading the field. Nice tight line round there. He's got the throttle open. The O's boys are taking a long way round the outside. It's neck and neck stuff, but Colin Blackwood just gets the advantage of the commentary box here. If he can do that on the final lap, that will give him the check of the lap. The Amos boys are quite in touch. They're not easy to hit, and they're on the lap back wheel every inch of the way. Into the pitch turn, they come again then. Colin Blackwood leading. Ian and Stuart Gove is going for it this time. Colin Blackwood just wide, and the Amos boys are on the inside. Are they through? It's tight stuff. The last black flag goes and it's thick and thick as they go past the country box here. They're going back to the steps of the old guys and holding that bottle of just a little bit. Makes the lead again. The Ian and Stuart game is one up at that. Three hard trying pushing riders and they're really going to go for it on this last corner I'm sure. Colin Blackwall has got it his own way at the moment with Eddie Elvis in the chair. Colin Blackwall and Eddie Elvis then leading this one. So 183, Ian and Stuart the Amos. Who's happy to take a second? Both Steer and Andy Orchard creeping up there, but just taking third. Right hand side cars is a win for number 22, Colin Blackbourne and Eddie Elvis. In second place, 183. Ian the Amis and Stuart the Amis. In third place, 17, Dave Steer and Andy Orchard. Fourth place, at number 20, Vaughan Roberts and Nicky Owen. Fifth place, number 11, Tony Gilbert and Malcolm Ivey. The winner's time was 1 minute 17.70 seconds, giving an average speed of 47.05 miles per hour.
away, it's Mitch Godden that goes first and in second place. It looks like uh, Roy Sizemore and then Vincent Kitchen and Vincent Kitchen. Kitchen got it right around the outside, he's going places, long track style, he's got a high geared machine there and he's fast enough to ride it, he's going up around that turn on this 350, which Godden is in hot pursuit in second place. Well, 
Then see the French and Dave Holland. There's a big battle on there between Duncan Fish and Clive Holland and Kev Bogus and Nigel Field. What's going to happen between these two as they go around their bottom turn? Kev Bogus takes the advantage out of that turn. Ooh. Nasty bump there. Off goes Nigel Field. Nigel Field is off. He's on his knees at the moment. The race continues and uh, Martin Cuffin, Jason Rell played the win. 2 by one John Arnott and... Alan Cave, then Peter French and Dave Hollands. And what happened to Kev Bovis? There goes Duncan Fish and Clive Holland. But let's see where Kevin... Oh, Kevin's still upright, that's OK. When the ballast goes, you uh, definitely can't turn left with these outfits, and it can cause a problem. A win there for number 126. Martin Cuff and Jason Ralph. In the second place was 251. John Arnott, Alan Cave. Third place, 273. Peter French and Andy Summerfield. Fourth place to 174. Duncan Fish and Clive Holland. Now other finishers, the winner's time is 1 minute 31.06 seconds, a speed of 46.33 miles per hour. Well clear of Erwin Bauman and Carl Brandon in second place. The Brooklyn Bay is the 
usually points to be to set up on this point tally. Excluded from the second leg for losing this passenger. The cause of the race is stopped. For this one.
second place and then Peter French. But have we got? Yes, we have got. Limping round in fourth place, Martin Cuff and Jason Ralph. Not sure what their problem is. They look terribly slow off the line and uh, they trouble getting their machine started. Those three are clear of the rest of the field now. Mitchell Gordon's going after Dave Mears. Big time up that back straight. 
Then he comes up, he's put his top wheel up alongside David Mears' rear wheel. Oh, he comes up He goes past no Mears, he's up there in the second place. This Mitchell Gordon has got it at the moment. On the 350 Gordon, he's belting it round there. He's coming round this top turn and he's running it.
Chris Week. They're underway. They're in the first turn. They are doing the business. The Mitchell Cross is coming right round the outside. It's starting to Yeah, Chris Week it up. Chris Britton on Peter Finch from Mitchell Gotten. Mitchell Gotten now trying that wide outside line. He's trying to ride around that outside of a lot of them, but Chris Britton is pulling away from a nice inside manoeuvre. Chris Britton goes for second. Pass Peter Finch, sets his sights on Chris Britton. Pass Peter Finch, Chris Britton. Mitchell Gotten from Peter Finch. Robin Pilcher, Julian Fitz, Dave Hollingsby. Meanwhile, on the front line, a lonely place for Chris Tritton. And it does look to me that Mitchell Gotten will not make up that many So we've got a long way back. He's got a lot to make up and he's got the brilliant, hungry animals on his tail. And they all want to get past him. Mitchell Gotten now looks like he's going to lose a bit to Julian Phipps. And Julian Phipps goes up that back straight. He means business here this afternoon. Mitchell Gotten is holding on to that second place, though. But it's number three, Chris Tritton, all the way. Chris Tritton now on the back straight. Oh, I've got to leave that to the lap story. That was just so tight and so close. Solo final was a win and a very quick win. Second place, it was number 73, Julian Phipps. In third place, number nine, Mitchell Gotten. Fourth place, 174, Robin Pilcher. Fifth, number four, Peter Finch. Sixth, number five, Dave Hollingsby. Seventh, number one, one zero, Chris Sweet. Eighth, 187, Justin Shaw. Ninth, 123, Michael Turr. Tenth, 62, Hayden Beebe. No 11th, no 12th finishes. The winner's time, 1 minute 20.78 seconds, given an average speed of 52.23. Who's it going to be? Neil Owen to sit the front on the 600cc Gotten, pulling away from those 1,000cc outfits. He goes into the first turn first. John Arnold is there in second place. So it's four. Neil Owen and Andy Evans Neely. Bob Wolfe in second place. It's Jamie Mossel in the chair. And it's John Arnold and Alan Kay. Then Ken Jarvis and Helen Day having a good ride there in third place at the moment. Friday Ford, fourth place at the moment, that's at Neil Owen, he's too far in front. Ken Jarvis and Helen Day 
and in sixth place, 23, Billy Penfold, Peter Taylor. The winner's time was 1 minute 27 seconds, an average speed of 48.49.